you know, when you look at the logo on this church, it's literally an electric pink L. And we say our whole desire is to love God supremely so that he can love people supernaturally. And I've always found there's a little bit a problem at times because I can worship God with, with all I have, but as he flows, sometimes I get stuck right in the middle of my chest. And maybe I have unforgiveness, I have bitterness, I have resentment, I have past things going on in my life, and it stops the flow, it blocks the flow. One, one time I had a dream that the, the church in the city of Omaha was like that. It was like this beating heart, and then there was some division and decay that started getting into the heart. And then God, the, the spiritual surgeon, came in and started doing some angioplasty and started spreading out, the, and, the, and the, the blood started flowing again all throughout the country and throughout the world. And all of this got me thinking as I was studying the scripture this week with you, Matthew chapter 13, the parable of the sower. And as you read it, I don't know if you noticed, but you know, it, it was this parable Jesus taught about this farmer. Did you guys read it? The farmer that went out to spread some seed and he was spreading some seed in his field and there were different types of soil. You guys remember that? And the soil represented the different conditions of our hearts. And the Bible actually said that as he spread it, the first soil, it actually represented like this, this hardened footpath. This, it, was like, it was like a brick. So when the seed went off, it just kind of bounced off the brick and nothing really settled in. The second one landed on this rocky soil. It was this soil, it was kind of shallow. And so immediately the seed sprang up, but because it didn't have a lot of depth of roots, <laughs> shallow, shallow root, shallow fruit, it, it grew up, but then problems, persecution, poof, and then it just fell through. The third soil, you guys remember it? Landed on some thorny soil. It started springing up, but the thorns choked it out. It didn't really produce a lot of fruit. But, got good news. Some fell on good soil. Someone say good soil. You, man, I'm telling you, no matter where you're at today, you can leave some good soil. And what ends up happening is when the seed goes out and settles in good soil. Ooh, baby, now that flows again. 